Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Vanessa. I am an, a watercolor artist and an artisanal handmade watercolor paint maker. That's always such a mouthful to say, um, but I got it out. I got it out. Um, so today I wanted to bring you something a little bit different. Um, today I got sent a product by Craft Ease, and it's something that's very near and dear to me um, because it's one of the hobbies that I absolutely love doing and it is a paint by number kit. Now you may be asking yourself, Vanessa, this is like a watercolor channel. This is a channel where you show us how to like watercolor and what to draw and things like that. So to you, I say this. <laughs> um, this is mostly, yes, a watercolor channel where I kind of show you um, how to do different things like pink galaxies and, you know, uh, how to blend and your watercolors and how to paint with watercolors. Um, but in 2024, uh, for the new year, I decided that I wanted to take this channel a little further than that. Now, watercolor isn't the only thing I, I do lately. Um, I know uh, many of you who follow me on Instagram know that I have been going through quite a few health struggles lately and these struggles have left me um, quite incapacitated on some days where I can't move my hands. My hands are like shaking all the time. Um, I can't mull paint as much as I used to. So my business has taken a bit of a break um, and in order to sustain my mental health because it was really pretty hard for me to um, decide to temporarily, hopefully, close my business while I focus on getting a little bit healthier. Um, even though um, I've been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, so I'm not sure that, you know, getting healthier <laughs> is something that is in the cards for me. But um, at the very least, finding the right... Um, you know, medication and lifestyle that'll help sustain a healthier lifestyle for me um, in order for me to do what I love. So while I have um, decided to put the business of paint making on hiatus for a little while until I figure this out, and I haven't been able to watercolor as much because of the problems and the pain that I've been having in my hands, um, I've taken up quite a few other hobbies. Um, a lot of hobbies. Now, those of you who follow me on Instagram know that I love to diamond paint and I've been diamond painting uh, since December of last year. So it's like my one year anniversary and I do diamond painting a lot. But I've also taken up paint by numbers. So this is one that I am currently working on. And I've been working on this one for quite a while because the, the um, you know, the, the little areas are really small and I don't have as much dexterity in my hands anymore, um, but I really love painting and doing paint by numbers kind of fills that uh, painting void for me. I don't have to put as much pressure in my hands. I don't have to do as much wrist movements um, as I do when I'm painting my like original watercolors. So. All that to say that going into 2024, I do, I, I have this hold this void to fill of, you know, um, doing my Patreon and making paints. So I decided to be much more active here on um, YouTube and um, incorporate other things that I love to do. I love to cross stitch. I love to do paint by numbers. I love to craft with um, my girls. I love to diamond paint. So today is going to be one of those. Don't worry. I am also going to be bringing you lots of watercolor tutorials because I have a backlog of more than like 60 videos um, that I am constantly putting up. So the videos that you have seen um, th uh, in the past couple of weeks that I have been putting up, those are videos that I have had for quite a while. So those are still going to be coming up, but every now and then I'm going to throw in some of the other things that I love to do. Also, never mind if you see me not done up because I decided for the new year, 
And it doesn't matter to me as much. I don't need to get all, you know, makeup, makeup up and I don't need to do all of that to be on camera. I'm just showing you the real me, the me that struggles and the me that is going through some things. And in order to do some self-care, which you know that I'm a big proponent of self-care, this is how we are going to tackle that. So today I wanted to show you um, this amazing package that I received from Craft Ease. Craft ease and the amazing paint by number that's inside. Now this paint by number, this is a this one is a, a little cheap one that I got off of Amazon with like a plastic canvas. It's not really a real canvas or anything. Um, but just wait until you see the one that Crafty sent me. So let's get right to it. And I hope that, um, let me know down below if, if, if this is a direction that you would like, um, some other self-care forms of art. And don't worry, like I said, we're gonna still have tons of watercolor, but let me know down below, comment below what your thoughts are, what you're thinking. And um, yeah, let's get to this video. So before I start, I wanted to thank Craft Ease for sending me this paint by number kit. But I wanted today, before I actually started doing this paint by number kit, which I am so super excited about, I wanted to do uh, an unboxing for you so that you can see what you get. So first of all, look at this box. <laughs> I, I love this box. It's pretty big. Let's take a look at the back. I already took off the, uh, the, you know, like the plastic covering on it. Um, just so that we can like really take a look at it and, uh, see what it's all about. So it has the instructions on it. So how to start your painting, um, and the contents of it. So it looks like in this box, we get the canvas, paintbrush and colors, a frame, and a paint pot holder, which is amazing. But there's something even more special about uh, this paint by number kit. So let us open the box so that you can have a look at what is inside. So first of all, the box is uh, incredibly easy to open. I say as I struggle to open it, but I promise you, it is easy. <laughs> it is very easy. So all you have to do is lift up the flaps right here and then we can open the box and you will see that on the top of the box there are also instructions on um, how to start it has a few cute little uh, details so keep in mind the paint dries quickly you should start with lighter colors wash the brush as well um, what to do if you get paint on your clothes and uh, yeah so just a bunch of other stuff now the beauty of this box is that this box turns into an easel isn't that amazing so this is why I was super, super, super excited uh, for this box because, and we'll do this together. I haven't done this. This is my actual first look at this. All I did was take off the, um, the plastic wrapping. So after you, t you open it, you can fold along the dotted line and then you fold it inward and then you can use this box as an easel to you to do your paint by number. So I am super excited about that. But for now, let's take a look at the contents of this box. So the first thing we get and you will see is the actual canvas. Now, what I love about this canvas as opposed to like um, those really cheap paint by numbers that you get that are um, like on a plastic canvas. First of all, this is a real canvas. Um, it is stretched on a board. So look at this. This is all done for you. You don't have to do anything else with it. I love this. And what I also love about it is that it is shaded very lightly. So you can see here there's blue and there's pink and it'll help you differentiate the colors. So oh, I am so excited to get this one started. I'm not sure if you can actually really see what it is there, but look at this cat. Can you see the cat? With a little girl on top, a little princess. I'll show you the real picture in a second. So let me put this to the side. 
Also included is a paper pattern. So just in case you're working on it and you cover up a number and you need to go back over that same number again, I always love to have the paper patterns handy so that you can actually look at the numbers and you never have to guess about, you know, what color you were working on once you've already applied the color. Because for a lot of the lighter colors, I have found that, um, you may have to go over it once or twice. So you may have to do a couple of coats in order just to get that good coverage. We will put this aside as well. And here is a picture of the actual uh, painting. Now um, you can see, isn't this so adorable? This is like right up my alley. So I'm making this paint by number kit for my daughter, for my daughter's room. Um, it has all of the colors that you'll be using. And um, so this is just the color guide. And this is also on a piece of fabric. This is not paper. This is a nice piece of fabric with felt on the back. And isn't this the most adorable picture you have ever seen? Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm fangirling out over this. Okay, we're going to stick this right here so that we can uh, stay looking at it. We also have our paint here. So you'll see that each pot has a little number on it. So here we have those. We also have these brushes. Oh, these look like they're pretty good brushes. Um, usually with those uh, paint by number kits that you buy off like, you know, AliExpress or Amazon, they come with those really cheap little blue brushes. But these brushes are really nice and you get four brushes in a variety of um, sizes. So you get three small ones and one flat one. And the flat one is really good for when you are um, painting in those big swatches of color. We'll put that here. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. So this right here is the uh, little numbers that you can put on top of your pots and they correspond to the numbers here. So let's take a look at number one. Number one is 084 and 084 here is this pretty green one. So you can take your number one and stick it on the pot. That's awesome. So if you've ever done uh, uh, diamond paintings, this is sort of what diamond painting is, where you have your little number set of uh, sticker set of numbers that you can put on your diamond painting pot. Um, and now let's see what this is. Oh, here we go. This right here is the little stand that you can place your... Um, your paint pots on. This is awesome. So you can put your paint pots on here, stick it there. And then in here is a little pocket. I'm not sure what this pocket is for. Oh, I do know what this pocket is for. Okay, we are going to, oh, we also have a little um, thank you card from Craft Ease. I also will have a code that I'm going to put in the descri description box below if you're interested in getting your own um, Craft Ease paint by number kit. Okay, let me see how this is done. Okay, so we're going to lay this flat and it says to fold along the dotted line. So we're going to fold along the dotted line and then form inward to form a holder. So let's do that. We're gonna fold it inward. To f oh, look at that. Look at that. And then we can take our painting and put it here. Let me give you a different angle on this. So never mind my incredibly messy desk, but look at how awesome this is. So what happens is I folded it just like this as the box suggested, and then I can stick my paint by number kit right there and I can work on it, which is great because I have found that working on paint by number kits, I'm always constantly looking down as I am trying to get them. My eyesight is not the very best either. So as I am working on my paint by number kits and I'm looking down, I have to get kind of close because some of these spaces are pretty small. Let me, let me give you a little close up here. You can see here, some of these spaces, such as here and here, they're pretty small. So usually when I'm working on a paint by number kit, I have to like really get in there and my neck starts hurting after a while. So I can't really spend too much time 
um, working on it. But with this one, it looks like I will be able to spend plenty of time, as much time as I want working on it. And oh, look at this is just amazing. And as you can tell, this is a nice fabric canvas. And when you are done, you can just put your box back together to store your paint by number kit. Um, if you're like me and you don't have that much space, you can do that. Oh, I also forgot to mention that it has um, one of those um, uh, uh, hanger things, hanger kits, like to hang your painting up on a wall. So it has one of those kits available. So yeah, so you can hang everything up and you can put everything away nice and neat until you are ready for um, your next session of Paint by Numbers. So I'm going to put this down here. I want to thank Crafties for sending this over to me. Now I am going to begin working on this today. Um, so I am going to be recording the process and showing you just how easy it is to work on a paint by number. Um, so uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna give you lots of tips and tricks. If you are, you know, a little bit artistically challenged or you just want one of those, uh, have one of those days where you just kind of like relax and not have to think about what you're painting, what you're drawing or anything, paint by numbers are perfect, perfect, perfect for them. And don't forget forget to check out the description box to get um, a percentage off of your next uh, paint by number. They also have diamond paintings and I'm not sure if you know this but I am a huge huge diamond painting fan. Yeah if you follow me over on Instagram you'll know this because I often post my diamond paintings in my Instagram stories. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.